when it's done right mm, beautiful story beautiful romance sometimes it just remains on a simmer and it's like what's this i'm like what what what's this hi wonderful people and welcome back to my channel book craves i'm giselle how are you going what's up with the scene what type of books do you like to read that is what this video is going to be about things that i love in romance books if it's your first time here welcome i talk about romance books we talk about different tropes we talk about different genre of romances i absolutely love romance books if this is something that you like then subscribe yes subscribe hit that button down below if you're a bad thank you welcome how are you going thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i really appreciate all the support there are things we love in romance books regardless of the truth the book can be horrible but we're still gonna love it because it had that thing that's what we that's what we that's what we love yeah yeah that's what we, that we cannot resist that makes us just fall on our knees or cry or whatever it is you do so today i'm here to share with you those things that i absolutely love in romance books and i'm sure most of you all can relate based on the books that i recommend based on the books that are on my tbr based on the books that are even in my my shopping vlog first up and this is not going to surprise anyone i love morally corrupted characters <laughs> I love those morally corrupted characters. I love those anti-heroes. I love those characters that you know you shouldn't love, you know you shouldn't like, but you can't help yourself. And I think that is why I often read mafia romances. That is why I like dark romances. Come on, sis. You know you like it. You know you love that you know you love morally corrupted characters i love books with groveling especially where the hero is groveling for forgiveness they can't help but want back the love and attention that the heroine was giving to them i love a good grovel scene in a book i love it i love it and you know where you get that in a lot of second chance romance <laughs> because they can't help but say you know i did crap and i want you back love it love it love it i always get so excited with a plot twist now listen so you have the original plot which you'll get around like 50 percent 60 percent you get that plot twist but then 90 percent is that's like whoop, the author hits you with another plot twist you're like what how it is so jaw dropping it is so mind boggling when an author drops a plot twist towards the end of a book a plot twist 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 it works works it works it works these are the books that i just get absorbed into romance books with secrets and lies where the hero or the heroine, they are holding on to this piece of information because they know anytime this comes out, it's the end of what they have. I love it in like a friend to lovers. I love this in a marriage of convenience because you go in there thinking, okay, I know both of us are up front. You want this out of the marriage. I want this out of the marriage. And then boom, this secret comes out. You're like, okay we can't sit together anyway i really enjoy really enjoy secrets and lies i really enjoy a slow burn in a romance but it must be done right you must have that accurate lineup that builds up you must be able to create that tension sometimes it just remains on a simmer and it's like what's this i'm like what what what's this when it's done right Mm. beautiful story 
beautiful romance. Initially, I had really enjoyed books told from one point of view. Really enjoyed it. But then when I started to read books told from dual perspective and multiple perspective, I love it. I, I prefer that style of writing. I live for those books. If I know it's told from dual perspective, I tend to enjoy it more because I love being in the mind of the character. I love knowing exactly what they are feeling at that point in time, at that particular situation or action when it happens. A dual perspective or multiple perspective will win every single time. Also, when a book is able to transition between the past and the present, I'll put up one that I recently read. This one, phenomenal. Phenomenal. It transitions into the past, come back into the present so well, and it goes back and forth telling an entire story about what happened in the past. But the person is living in the present. This one right here, really, really enjoyed it. I absolutely enjoy books with soulmates or fated mates. What I enjoy about it is that, you know, I love that hard to get. You know what I'm talking about. I love a situation where the heroine or the hero plays hard to get, especially when they know that this person is their soulmate. I love this in paranormal romances, especially with shifters. Love it with shifters because it's like your mind, the chemicals are there in your body. This is your mate. This is your mate. But your mate is human and she's like, I don't have the same reaction as you. So you need to tone it down, boy. You need to tone it down. It's not going to go down like that. I love a book like that. I live for books like that. And it's very hard to get great books or stories like that. So these are the things I really enjoy in romance novels. I don't really enjoy those regular, you know, get together, everything goes well, happily ever after. No, I'm all for the drama. I'm all for the shenanigans. I'm all for the jaw dropping twists. I live and devour romance books with substance. And if you haven't read one like that, yo, Good thing you're watching this video because I have a lot of those on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment. If you're new, hit that notification bell so you'd know when I upload. Look out until I post another one. Bye!